Today we're going to be breaking out of the Super Auto Pets realm. Kind of. Picture Super Auto Pets mixed with Pokemon, but like as a roguelike, and that's Katamon. Now, if you know anything about Pokemon, it's all similar typing, similar, you know, this type does well against this type kind of thing, which I'm bad at, just as a disclaimer. And we're going to try out this, this new auto battler roguelike and see how it is. Hope you enjoy. So you start out recruiting your base Katamon, okay? Um, just looking at the three of these, so the Bee Leaf triggers um, the the super, which is this ability down here of the pet in front of it at the start of battle. So that one's on its own to start doesn't seem to make much sense. This one, every time it gets hurt, it gets stronger. So you could build kind of like a tank one, but he doesn't have a ton of health. This guy is definitely a tank, but he doesn't do a lot of damage. So, I mean, let's start with some damage. I think that'll be interesting. Now, full transparency, I have no idea what all of the elements do. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we'll see. So, I do notice if you hover, it'll, like, highlight certain pets. And I think that means that they're good. So, let's go here. Supposedly this guy's gonna be good against him. I guess that's because he's bug. I'm assuming it's the same as Pokemon. Which, to be honest, I'm not super familiar with how the stats work out for that. But yeah, dude. Oh, we're doing damage. And then yeah, so we get experience at the end of each round. Then we get a bunch of bunch of items. Um, so we get to recruit the guy that we just beat. Um, this one summons a spark blug. <laughs> whenever an ally faints. So I guess just a summon build of sorts. And then you can give your guys little items. So this one buffs your other guys at start of battle. This is Thorns, basically just deals that much damage when they get hit. And then this one, whenever they get hurt, it buffs the guy behind it. So this could be good as like on a tank, for sure. I think to start, let's just get some extra damage. Keep it simple. And yeah, so this whole types thing we're gonna have to get used to. I'm, I'm definitely gonna make some mistakes there. Um, but I think the battle start, just making everybody slower, seems like a great idea. We get to the shop, we have zero dollars. <laughs> well, we have two, but we're broke, so we're gonna keep pushing. We only have one option here. Let's head on in. Okay, so... Another thing about this, the very front unit is the one that takes all of the damage. Okay, so I think we'll keep him up front here, because he gets buffed whenever he gets hurt. But I th I'm guessing we're going to want to tank here in a little bit, because this guy does not have a lot of health. He's already, <laughs> he's already down to 12. So right now we're okay, because these guys are weak. But we're going to have to keep that one in mind as we get further down the, the chain. So who do we want here? Whenever an enemy moves, you buff your allies. Okay, and then his super moves enemies. This one summons a Shrunobi <laughs> and then gains slow, um, which doesn't seem great. So I don't know what a Shrunobi is, but I'm down to try it. We'll find out, I suppose. Um, still poor. We could get an item, but I want to save up for these homies. Get some buffs to our, our main dude. That'd be awesome. Okay, so we're definitely going to want this Mushi Mushiki guy here. Um, he's kind of cracked throughout the whole region here, isn't he? <laughs> so he's going to be very important. I mean, maybe we put him up front, you know? We do it like this. I don't know if there needs to be space for him to summon. I guess that's something we'll have to figure out. But let's see. So you can see down in the bottom here, there's the attack bar is the white one. Once that's full, they get to attack. Okay, so he didn't summon anything. I'm assuming that he needs space to summon. So he might need to go in the back here. I am noticing they're all attacking the second place guy for some reason. Nobody wants to attack our Shrunobi. Or sorry, Mushiki. He summons the Shrunobi. And is that what this guy is? 
Yeah, so what is a sure newbie? Trigger enemies toxin, I think that is. Decay. So whenever they attack, they take damage. So that seems okay. When he dies, they get damaged. And then you summon more. Oh, so you can have some guys waiting here in the kind of waiting on deck. If we're talking in baseball terms, waiting for a spot to open. Okay. Oh man, there's a lot to go through here. Um, we're going to try to speed it up. I don't want to wait and read through everything. We'll get, we'll learn them as we go. This is a big tank. That would be huge. Let's grab a tank, put him up front. And then maybe we get rid of our <laughs> our knock. I think he's just like a gen generic kind of whatever guy. So we don't need to put him on our team. Ooh, we finally have a good one for our main dude. Okay. So yeah, let's keep you in the back. Let this homie absorb all of the damage. And then our Mushiki will start getting Shrunobis set up here. Okay, good damage. Oh dude, this guy's tanky. Look at that. Okay, we got a Shrunobi. He's waiting. I don't even know if we're gonna need him this round though. These guys are pretty weak. Oh, just kidding. I spoke too soon. So these two, the Kittle and the Snows, do a lot of damage. Which probably makes sense Pokemon wise, <laughs> to be honest, I don't really know, but we're good. Alright, so we get some extra money, we get to recruit somebody, who do we want? So this guy on hurt. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Reduce required refresh by one. Remove attack on stack. Okay, I kind of like this guy, actually. Yeah. You're going to be our new homie. <laughs> I like that he he's basically just a bomb that absorbs a bunch of stuff and then explodes. That's kind of fun. Okay, so if you buy the same one of a guy, if we buy this guy here, it basically just buffs a ton of experience on that guy. So he can almost evolve him. Okay, we don't want water because we got nothing for it. Um, it does appear though, our Armachillo, Armachillo is better into this team. So let's, let's keep him in the mix. I'm down. Ooh, he's asleep. Not so fast, mister. Oh man, that sleep is so strong. These guys can't do anything. And we have all this time to- oh! Hold on. They swapped our homies. That's not good. Okay, we got one down. Jesus, we need to swap back. I don't think we can though. Oh no no. Our main guy is down. This is not a good start. That's like our main damage dealer out here. Okay, a lot going on here. <laughs> this is, let's speed this up a little bit. We go to normal play. How is this normal? This is, <laughs> I can't follow anything that's happening. But I'm assuming we're just going to need to keep hitting him over and over again. With these Shrunobi homies. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that was a lot. See if we can get a good item. Deal damage to allies, probably not good unless we have an on hit build. On equip, grants 5 max health. That seems really good. Hold on. You can basically just endlessly buff one of your guys whenever you get one of those. Okay. I mean, let's get some bonus experience on our, our Machido. Um, okay. I don't know who we wanted on yet. 
Probably you, actually. Now you're at 23 health. We should probably give this to someone, shouldn't we? Um, which attack do you have? Three? That's like nothing. Alright, give it to you. We'll probably get rid of the Luminant at some point. Once we get a good, a good homie to switch it with. Well, let's keep going. See how this does. Okay. Man, we're getting a lot of slows here. Okay. I'm loving these guys on deck. They're really helping out. Because, I mean, as soon as... Oh, hold that thought. We're evolving. Our Machio turns into... Killadin. Okay. What does that do? You apply one to the fastest enemy. I think it's just a stat buff. And then this is 75 instead of 50%. I think the herd is the same. Oh, and Manku. Hold on. Manku's turning into Chimpire. Alright. What is this? Same ability here. Now I deal 75% of attack instead of 50. Dude, I think we just got a huge power spike. Um, how much do we want to invest in this Mushiki? We don't have a ton of support. <laughs> so, I don't know how, how useful it's going to be. What is this? Okay. This is actually really good. Match with the Armageo. Let's try an ice build out here. Get rid of you. Okay. I like this. Yeah, I don't think you're going to do a whole lot for us. And what you can do is if you release, you can get extra... Um, so it is basically selling. And then you get gold and items and stuff. Okay, so we get some experience. Throw it on you. What about you? Same thing, more experience. Five EXP for each one you release. Not bad. I mean, I'm always going to pick a mystery event. <laughs> that's just, that's how I do roguelikes. Okay, so we're walking through a small town. Taking a shortcut, bad idea. Okay. Okay, so we have to decide what to do. We're basically getting mugged right now. Um, we pay five gold. Can I even do that? I don't have five gold to pay. Um, gain expendable. <laughs> I don't have enough money for it. What happens? Did I get it? What happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I'm not sure if it worked. Oh, it did work, but I still have gold. So now I'm confused. What do you do? Amount of units in the box? What's the box? <laughs> okay. Um, let, let's throw them in there, I guess. Anyone knows what the box is? Let me know. Okay, hold on, hold on. Before we jump in here, so this is a boss. So we got the big homie here, Camount. Whenever Splash is applied, he gains thorns. And then these guys, whenever they get hurt, they gain, give everyone Splash. So he's just gonna get super thorny, super strong. And we're gonna have to hopefully be able to tank it all, but... <laughs> no, 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 no. Um... This is not looking great. This is actually looking very bad. This guy has 70 thorns. Um, well, I think we're we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble here. <laughs> How are you supposed to beat this guy? Every time you hit him, you take 80 damage. Okay. Well, every time you lose, you lose 10 morale. If you get to zero, you like lose lose. All right. I mean, surely there's no way we were expected to beat that, right? <laughs> that seemed insane. Um, what do we got here? I don't love any of these. 
You're kind of good. Did we ever figure out what the box is? It's not even like a, a hoverable effect. Okay. I mean, we'll keep him in. I want to try to get a bee leaf. I feel like bee leaf with the chimpire, it'll trigger its ability. That would be pretty solid. An attack apply to decay. That's kind of good. And then, I mean, do we have any support? Oh, that's actually really good on you. All right, yeah, yeah, let's put this on you. We need to get items on these guys. That's what we're missing. So get rid of you. I want the attack. I don't, I don't like the expendable very much. Okay, save the rest of our money. Yeah, dude, that guy was insane. You hear a loud noise coming from somewhere. You can get 30 XP or select a unit to gain ice or grass type. Like, is that good? We don't have any grass types, so maybe that would be good. If we get another ice type, I think we get this synergy, but I don't think that synergy works very well for us. I think we want fire synergy. Let's do this. And then who do we want to give the experience to? I mean, straight up. <laughs> Chilladin's pretty good. Maybe we go Chimpire though. He's our OG. Let's keep him cooking. Okay. What do we got here? Any fainted gain damage and speed. Okay. He's got a Fitiki. I'm assuming that's your evolution. He's got a better version of our guy. Good. <laughs> Love to see that. Dude, we're saucing on these guys. Holy oh, baby. That was easy mode. Alright, get some money. What do we got here? Are we going to level this homie? Hmm, sure. What happened? We didn't get to see his evolution. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to at least pull up this card. No. This card is, is gone. Okay. I guess that... I guess you can't pull that one up. Moving on. <laughs> what does he do now? Eh, yeah, same-ish. All right, well this one we got nothing for, so let's do some dusk ice. At least our ice homies will be good. Okay. I mean, this guy just insta-died, all right. Get some AOE from our Chimpire ability. I'd love to see that. what was up with that one battle where we just got nuked because everything besides that we've been cooking an icicrawl what do you do okay do you just take extra damage okay so this guy gives strength and also makes them take more damage that's solid um, Dizzy triggered, ally hurt, you gain frozen. These all seem kind of bad for our build. Let's get some experience. Is that not the same as just getting one and selling it? <laughs> Isn't that just the same thing? Yeah, okay. Well, you expedite it a little, I guess. We're one gold off finding the bee leaf. Soon. Alright, this is our big boss. We lose all- oh, if we lose this one, we lose everything. Alright. A little intimidating. What do you do? You're gonna build a big wall. And then... I guess that's it. So we just have to, like, deal a ton of damage. We can do that. 
That one I'm not too worried about. Dude, he's like not even summoning anyone. <laughs> he's just getting nuked. <laughs> this is easy. What the heck? Alright. That was pretty solid. Well, that was a good little intro. How's it going, y'all? Hope you enjoyed our little sneak preview on Katamon. I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. We're definitely going to try it out again. Probably play the full match. It's going to be a lot longer. There's three arcs, so we just tried out the first one here to get a feel for the game. But let me know if you're enjoying it, and there's more to come. Hope to see you there.